Everybody, happy new year welcome back to my channel it's been a little while it's been a little while I did plan to vlog over Christmas I did do vlogging bits here and there but I was at Panto Panto was a bit of a nightmare I'm not gonna lie guys <laughs> the schedule was just so jam-packed and I was just so wiped out all of the time and also there was kind of like a boundary thing with the other people that I was with, you know, they didn't really want to be on YouTube. So I'm completely okay with that. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm just not gonna vlog while I'm here. That's completely fine. I vlogged Christmas, you know, I went ice skating. I did my present wrapping, my Christmas card writing, all of that kind of thing, it was lovely. Um, ice skating with my boyfriend, highlight of the season. Um, but I really did enjoy my Christmas. But you know, once I'd finished doing all of the vlogging, I realized, you know, I finished vlogging on like New Year's Day and I was like, huh, I was like, no one's gonna wanna see my Christmas content now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a little bit of B-roll here. But yes, happy new year. I hope you're all feeling good and refreshed and ready for the new year. Obviously this video is coming a little bit late um, cause I've just been enjoying having that time off. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself, but I'm ready to get going, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to um, really commit to my YouTube journey right now. So yes, this is kind of my getting back into things vlog. I'm implementing some new healthy habits that I wanted to start this year. So I'm going to show you my morning and evening routine. Today is just a regular day in my life. I'm going to my day job where I work as a temp teaching assistant. So in about half an hour, I'm going to set off to work um, and I've just filmed my morning routine for you. And then when I get back in, I'm going to be doing my evening routine. So yes, some of my habits are the same and some have are drastically changing. Do subscribe if you're new here because it's fun round here and do hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. So some of my goals for the year, I have them written down here in my journal. Um, I wanted to get a new musical theatre agent this year. Um, the musical theatre agent that I was with before has been great, but I believe our time as a working relationship has come to an end. We've been together for about two years and I feel like I've got the best, the most out of them that I possibly could. So I'm looking to move on to a new musical theatre agent. I also want to finally sign to a commercial dance agent. I've been trying to do that since I graduated with no success yet, but this year is the year I can feel it in my bones. Um, I'm currently doing a commercial dance training program to get that going. Um, <clears throat> and one of my mini goals is to train consistently because my tr dance training has been quite patchy in the past two years, but I want to really stick to being consistent and going at least once a week, twice a week. You know, I have to get in those classes and get training. And my camera just died in the middle of filming that, which is just fantastic. But yes, my next big goal 
was to do a portfolio update of my professional shots. So headshots and body shots. Okay guys, I just won a photo shoot giveaway for portraits and full length shots. I can't believe it, like on Instagram, I enter so many giveaways, like I enter giveaways all the time and I'm like one of these days I'm gonna win a giveaway and yesterday, I literally last night, I won a body shot giveaway. So I get free body shots this year and the photographer is absolutely incredible so I'm so happy about that because right now I can't really afford to jump onto that goal but I was planning on saving, budgeting for those things this year. So that's great. I don't have to factor the body shots into my budgeting anymore this year because I'm getting an update for free because I want it. Love that for me. That's like a big goal pre pretty much already ticked off. So I'm really super happy about that. Another big goal is to go on holiday. I haven't been on holiday since 2020. It's just not been feasible. Last year financially it was just a write off for me. I wrote off my car and that just set me back massively in the year. I've been trying to, I've been playing catch up ever since, but we're getting there, we're getting there guys. I'm planning my finances, I'm budgeting. Really up until about like this year, I've kind of just been going with the flow, not really tracking my finances, having kind of like a rough idea of where I'm at. And it's, it's just not been helpful for me guys. So I'm really, being strict with keeping track of my finances and having boundaries when it comes to um, spending and when people are like, let's go out, let's do this, let's do that. I have to really like check that I can feasibly do that. I also wanna come out of my student overdraft. I hate admitting that, but yes, I'm still in my student overdraft and it's such a pain getting out of it. But like I said, just been through the budget stuff. We're gonna get there this year. I can feel it in my bones, we're gonna do it. And another big goal is expand my teaching and instructing business. So I've just signed up for a Ballet Be Fit instructor course. So I've been looking at you know, personal training, maybe even yoga instructor, because I love doing yoga and things like that, but they're really, really expensive. And with all of the other things that I'm trying to factor in this year, I feel like I just can't do it. There is YMCA Fit, where you can get a government loan to fund the course, but I don't want to take out another loan because I'm already paying back my student loan. And I just feel like, I no more loans. But I found a fitness course that combines kind of like yoga, Pilates and ballet, 37 pounds a month, which I thought was really, really good in comparison to a lot of the other fitness courses that I've seen out there and it means that I can start my business that way and start earning that way. I'm trying to build more streams of income so that I earn more money because right now quite low on the income scale. By getting this qualification as a ballet B fit instructor, I can run some classes, I can earn some extra money and I can maybe fund getting a yoga instructor qualification or a PT qualification or whatever it is. I can work towards that. I have some mini goals in there, but um, time is pressing on. It's quarter to eight. I need to make sure I'm ready to go. Um, I also, I showed you my breakfast this morning, which was yummy, um, trying to eat better food. That's actually one of my mini goals is to cook more regularly, but healthier food. So um, I'm also trying to gain a bit of muscle and a bit of weight, especially in the booty area. So yes, I'm trying to eat more proteins, more protein rich foods um, that are healthy. Um, so I made my avocado toast with eggs this morning. Absolutely love that. So yes, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you after work. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I'm back home after a long day. Um, it is now five o'clock, so I'm going to start my evening routine. Oh, this coat is really hot. So I'm gonna start with, I am doing exercise in the evening now, which is really unusual for me. I'm very much like a workout in the morning kind of person, but because I'm doing a lot of work right now, the only time I can get it in is the evening, and after Christmas I realized I lost a lot of strength. I was very lazy over the Christmas period and while I was at Panto, I did absolutely nothing really that physical apart from the Panto itself. So 
I've lost a lot of strength and stuff, so I'm trying to get back on it. So I'm doing a bit of evening yoga, strengthening to get me back into things. But yes, I'm just gonna take you through my evening through the vlog. I hope you enjoy. I'll take you through my shower and skincare routine in a little bit specifically for dry skin and eczema because girl, my skin be going through it with the eczema. Let's get to it. was a tough session that was a very tough session guys i did like this fiery yoga practice boho beautiful i'll link them below really great they have so many yoga practices that i like to do and that was epic so now i need to do my skincare routine i'm just gonna jump in the shower right about now i'm gonna do um my skincare routine which is specifically Catered to my dry skin at the moment. I've been suffering with really bad spots and dry skin um, for a while. Skin is dry as hell. Normally I do get really dry skin in the winter anyway, like my lips are the first to go. Anyone who knows me can tell you I get flaky lips in the winter, girl. I'm gonna take off my makeup and do some skincare, jump in the shower. I'll go through what I'm using in my hair at the moment because I've been suffering with dandruff as well. <laughs> I've been suffering guys and it really itchy scalp so I'll go through with you what I've been using in my hair today is not hair wash day because I washed it yesterday but I'm gonna go through all of that with you anyway so let's go to the bathroom skincare wise so to take off my makeup I've stopped using micellar water because I found that that was just drying my skin out if you have like quite bad eczema like me I don't know if you guys can see let me get really close yeah I'm literally getting flakes. There's like a whole patch of eczema on my forehead. Not cute. I'm also getting it on my nose. Like there's a huge patch of it here on my nose. It's so annoying, guys. So I've been using this cleansing bar from Source of Nature. As you can see, it's nearly done. Um, but I literally got this in Sainsbury's for like five pounds. It's about the same amount as like micellar water. So that's great. Um, and I use this microfiber cloth because it's reusable. Um, to wipe off my makeup and I find this is really good like it just wipes it clean off like I find with micellar water I have to like really go at it for ages whereas this kind of just wipes it off in one go and then I use I'm using this um, Cetaphil um, moisturizing cleanser this is specifically for dry sensitive skin um, and this is really really good because it's not I'm finding that my regular cleansers that I was using. What was I using before? Black soap. I actually have it down here. And this used to be fine for me, like this black soap. I haven't used it for ages, but it was drying my skin out every time I used it. So I've switched to this. If you have eczema or like super dry skin on your face, would definitely recommend using this. And that's all I use on my skin in the shower. I'm trying to keep it simple. I find that because my skin is, ooh, because my skin is so dry, I'm not trying to bombard my face with too much product. I use this Sanix Bio Protect Hypoallergenic for very sensitive skin for my body. Because again, if I'm using things with too many perfumes in it, it just brings up all of my eczema on my skin. My skin just doesn't like it, so I like to keep it nice and simple. No parabens, no perfumes, nothing like that. Just nice, plain and simple. So Sanix is really good as well if you've got dry skin. And then for my scalp, I'm using this Neutrogena tea gel, which the pharmacist recommended to me. Um, doesn't smell very good. I will say that this doesn't smell very good because it has coal tar extract in it. But what I will say is that the itching on my scalp and the dandruff from like the first use, I've only used it like three times. And honestly, the results are there. Like 
my scalp is not itchy, the flakes have gone away, so I would definitely recommend that if you're really struggling with like itchy, dry scalp. I'm dry as hell at the moment, I'm so dry. To counteract the nasty smell of that, I got this lovely conditioner that the pharmacist also recommended from Chlorine. It's a mango scented um, nourishing conditioner for dry hair. She was not lying. She said to me that it makes your hair so nice and silky soft and smooth and she was not lying, like this is the best conditioner that I've ever used, period. I've used a lot of conditioners. I used Olaplex for a while and I swore by that, but honestly, this beats Olaplex by miles, like not even joking, it's so good. And together, I bought these together, I spent about 15 pounds, I know, that's a little bit more than what I usually do spend on shampoo and conditioner, but like Olaplex, the shampoo and conditioner together is about 50 pounds. So this combination for me at the moment is actually fairly cheap for what I'm trying to achieve. And yeah, definitely recommend these two products. They're really, really good. And yeah, so that's kind of just like my shower products at the moment. Really dead simple, not too much going on. And then I'll show you what I do after I come out of the shower. But yeah, let's get this makeup off my face. Damp this cloth with warm water, but not too warm. It's actually kind of cold because I find that hot water dries my skin out. Um, even though I love a hot shower, hot water just dries my skin out and makes it more flaky. And when I looked up online, like how to quickly get rid of like eczema on your skin and, and your face, it was like avoid using really hot water because it just makes you itch and irritates the skin even more and makes it flake and dry. So, I'm trying to keep the water cool. I can't do cold showers, guys. I've tried the whole cold shower thing. Not for me, but um, yeah, try and keep the water cool because cool water is better for dry skin and eczema. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. Let me be dead honest with you guys. So I had this in one of my previous videos. I got sent this Web MD Acne skincare kit, not sponsored. I got it myself. Um, and I got sent a second box, even though I forgot to cancel my membership basically. Um, and I thought this was gonna be great. They even sent me two loads of each thing. Um, so it comes with a cleanser a moisturizer and this spot treatment cream and it's specifically for dry skin like the whole point of this md acne thing is that it's a personalized skincare kit it really did not agree with my skin at all so now i've got all of these bits and bobs from them and i don't want it so i'm going to have to give it to somebody else or sell it on or something because this was 50 pounds i was like but no, so dead simple. This is really boring, guys, because a lot of these YouTubers have such an elaborate skincare. They use, like, the best brands, like Laura Mercier, Clinique. Your girl doesn't have that budget, okay? <laughs> like, if I get really close, you can probably see, like, the whole dry bit here. There's a bit on my nose. I've also got some, like, spots. I'm really bad for picking my skin. So, sim simply, all I put on is... I use this on my face and body, Cetraben um, Aqueous Cream, Emollient Moisturizing Cream for um, dry, itchy and eczema prone skin. Um, really gentle on my skin and my face, pop it on like I would a normal moisturizer. Oh, it's stinging, girl. It is stinging. So I put it on everywhere, I even use it as an eye cream and I put it all over my body as well. And I also am using for the stubborn bits, especially on my hands, because I've got eczema on my hands as well, as you can see. I use Elecon ointment, which I get prescribed from the doctors. You can't get this unless it's prescribed. I just put a bit of Carmex. Carmex does the trick on my lips because I just find Carmex is the strongest one and like really targets the flakes and the dry skin on my lips like so quick like I can feel it burning now 
and I love that feeling of it like burning because you know it's working. That's my eczema prone skincare routine. Let me know if this was helpful for you in the comments or if you have um, like eczema on your face and your body, like let me know if you have any like miracle products that have helped you or if you use the same products as me. Hey girl, hey, it's a struggle out here. Okay guys, so now it is time to unwind. I've made myself a lemon and green tea. I'm trying, I'm such a coffee drinker. Like I end up drinking coffee in the evenings, which is really not good for your sleep cycle and stuff. I mean, even having any caffeine in the day is not good for your sleep cycle, but like, you know, I'm not gonna deny myself the pleasures in life. So I'll have my morning coffees, but when it comes to the evening, I have a selection of herbal teas. I have like a sleepy tea, I have a metabolism tea, and tonight I've gone with the green tea, just a simple green tea. It's really good for your digestion. I've had a lot of food today, and my stomach is feeling a little bit like I've overeaten. <laughs> but now I just feel like really bloated, and I think green tea is what is needed to aid my digestion. I really need to catch up on my QuickBooks. Now, if you don't know what QuickBooks is, it's basically an app that if you're self-employed, like myself, you can track all of your income and expenses on there so that when it comes around to doing your tax return, which I just did, by the way, and that was like the stress of my life, I can do a whole video on tax returns because if you actually watch one of my vlogs that I did a while ago, I was attempting it then and I got so overwhelmed, I just gave up on it during the vlog and I was like, I'm gonna do it later. I was like, I'll do it next week. It's been like however many months since I made that video and I only did it like at the weekend. <laughs> Don't put off your tax return because it does get increasingly more stressful the longer you leave it. I have been seriously neglecting my QuickBooks so I need to get up to date with that and I'm just gonna do it now. QuickBooks is really easy to categorize if you haven't used QuickBooks before. It basically connects to your bank account. I think, when was the last time I did my biz my miles? Oh God, it's a long scroll down, long scroll down. I have to use my diary as well, um, so that I know exactly what I did on what day. So I'm basically just going to sort through that now. Okay, 15th of October, it's January. Cool child. <laughs> Thank you. 